So a huge part of this exercise is just being able to find data that you can then map and you can join and combine with other data sets. So one of the most classic locations to get data, especially for the US obviously, is the US Census Bureau's website. So I'm gonna be walking through, hopefully quickly, the best practices for downloading some information that will be usable. That's the, the big point here. <laughs> data that you can quickly download and start using. So first, you'll come to this site, and I would recommend just clicking Find Tables. That will then bring you into this fairly overwhelming user interface or experience. A couple things to note on here to help you get started. First off, you can see how many results we're looking at. So these are all of the different data products that are available through the Census Bureau, and there's over 5,000 of them. We don't wanna to have to sort through and sift through all of these pages of different information. What you wanna do is start here with the filter on the left-hand side. So if I select filter, they've broken this down pretty nicely. You can start with a geography, or come with that last, different topics, the types of surveys, and then the years. The way I like doing this is starting first with the geography that you're curious about. For this example, we're just gonna be doing counties, so a fairly large geography. So here I select county, I then select a state. Please don't select something like Delaware that has you know three counties in it, um, select a medium-sized state. I'll select Arizona. You can see here the list of all the counties in Arizona. For this exercise, I want to click all counties. All counties within Arizona. And this is now refreshing the data. And so here we can see our results have gone from 5,000 now to about 3,400 different results. So still a pretty big list. If I scroll down, let's now go and select our years. So I'm interested in something a little more recent than 2000, 2010. I actually want to select 2022. So let me pick that year. We're now down to about 1300 results, which is still a lot of information and data. I'm going to just X off of that filter for the county. In the background, it's loading up data, some previews here. And if I select any of these data sets, like here, population 60 years and over in the US, or this one, the native and foreign born population. So if you want those 1300 records, you can kind of scroll here and see what is available, or you can get a lot more specific with further filters. Let's look at health. So if I select health, Maybe I'm interested in overall health for a specific population. This is health expenses, or we can go here to go to health expenses. Now my filters right now, it's showing me all counties within Arizona, 2022 health. If you wanted to, you could X off any of these filters to get back to that kind of larger data set or kind of not filter it as much. Now I'm down to 157 different data sets. And now probably the most important thing to do here, you get a preview of the data on this side. And if I scroll down, I'm just gonna click number five here to grab something. Let's see, employment status by disability status, um, work experience, age disability, age by ratio of income to poverty level. So I'm gonna do employment status by disability status. I'm gonna select that. Now, as I just mentioned, the most important thing to do for this, do not download your data from over here, from Excel or any of these tools. There's this little option here that says download table data. I need to click that to be able to pull the right data down and have the right fields. I'm gonna select that. See this little download option? I could actually pick my record. Now it's telling me one selected and download. I want to grab it for 2022. It's saying ACS one year estimates. We don't have to dive into all of what that means, but I'm going to download that data set. 
down in the far right hand corner, it's telling me preparing your files, downloading that data set, getting those files downloaded. All right, it just downloaded my data. And I'll be honest, it was just hanging up over here and I had to hit the little button to hit cancel and then resume and then it downloaded and worked just fine. So after that downloads, it will come down as a zip file. You can hit here, extract all, and it's gonna open up that data set for me. And now I have a couple different things in here. So I have a text file, which I can click and open that. And that provides me all of the metadata or data about this data. It kind of tells me you know, what this data set is, who made it, etc. So a lot of great details in there. The next one I'm going to open is this column metadata. This gives me the details for what is inside the data set. It kind of tells me specifically the column names, etc. And we'll get to why that's important in two seconds. And then the most important one, oh, here we go. Here's that data set that opened. So this is telling me the column name I'm going to see in the data set, all of these codes, and the label. So when we open the next table, we're going to see that this column name is going to be in the data set, but the label will not. So I'm going to need to use this data set, unless I have all of these memorized, to ensure I know what this B8 18, 120, underscore, 007, etc. So I'm going to need to kind of go back and forth with those two different records. And lastly, let's open our data. And perfect. So what I wanted to make sure, and the point of this video is really ensuring you have this field as part of your download. This is going to be the most critical thing to have, or you will have just confusion and frustration. This is called the geo ID field, and this is what's called the key field. And so we're going to be using this to join this table to the spatial data that we'll be able to have for the same kind of information. So if we go revisit this on the Census Bureau's website for two seconds, just ensure instead of downloading data from over here where you could click Excel, you could click CSV. So there's all these different other options to download the data. You want to grab it from over here. So I could select a couple different data sets. It says three selected, hit download, and then I'm able to download those as a zip file. So that's step number one, ensuring you're downloading data from the Census Bureau the right way so you can pull it into the GIS and start joining and getting this data prepped and ready to use.